what's good with y'all man welcome back to another video on the channel y'all and in today's video man as y'all can see by the title i'm going to be showing y'all my nine to five today now as y'all know i've been doing youtube all my life a nine to five is something that is very new to me but it's something that was needed as you guys know everything took a little turn and now we kind of trying to get back on track so right now at this day in my life i feel like i'm starting from zero you feel me i feel like i'm redoing that grind all over again which is no problem you feel me because i'm not the only one you know what i'm saying i'm not the only one at least who's doing this you feel me it's plenty of youtubers who was once successful who had to turn around and get a 9 to 5. And I'm not ashamed of it. I ain't gonna lie. I, it was a point where I was hotter than this 9 to 5. And, and, and when y'all would ask me, you know, what are you doing with your life? How are you making money? Blah, 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 blah. I was hiding this from y'all, but I'm not ashamed of it no more. You feel me? It's like I was telling my homies, you know what I'm saying, who was grinding this game and stuff, and then everything kind of went downhill or took a standstill. Like I was telling them, man, don't be ashamed of getting a nine to five it's nothing wrong with a nine to five at all you feel me some people feel like they too good to work you're never too good to make no money you feel me no matter how you make the money you're never too good to make no money don't let the money make you make the money you feel me so i was not finna sit around and just keep trying to pursue something that i know that i wasn't happy doing i started to do something different it's not going how I planned it, so I'm not gonna sit around and just keep trying to do this thing or, or, or just sit and, and force myself to do something for several hours just to make some bread. No, I will go out and get a nine to five. You feel me? So, that's the that was the case. You feel me? Like I could have continued to keep on playing that game and stuff and force myself just for some money, but it's not all about that. You feel me? I'm not gonna sit around and just to make a couple hundred of dollars. I could do that at a job for a couple of hours and, and go home for the day. I'm not finna sit, I'm not I'm not doing that. You know what I'm saying? If y'all get what I'm saying. But um, that's what we at. It is 4.55 in the morning. I gotta clock in before five o'clock. So you finna go ahead and get out of this car bag, go inside. I'm finna show y'all, I'm finna show y'all. So if y'all don't know, I work security for Ally Universal and it's very chilled. I love it. You know what I'm saying? Very chill. You don't, I don't do much. I don't do nothing at all. I'm gonna show y'all in today's video. I'm not gonna show y'all too much because some stuff that y'all don't supposed to see, like you know, a little stuff on the computer and stuff like that. But other than that, I'm gonna show y'all how my day go. Grab my camera bag. Grab my food. And we on up out of here. So I have a guard shack. Boom, boom, boom is my key to open up the door. So you can go ahead and get up in here. Cut on the lights. Ooh, bright up in there, John. Oh man, the dude before me. Then cut on the heat in here, so it's a little cool. It's a little cool. Four fifty-seven. Got to go ahead and clock in before five o'clock, man. But. It's chill, man. Clock in on this phone. clock in after we clock in on that phone you gotta clock in on the computer now so let me go and do this all right let me see because i was i ain't even gonna do that Boom.
boom so we all clocked in yeah so i'm gonna show y'all around the guard shack man it's nothing much to it so basically my job consists of first of all i'm a security at a chemical plant or like a just at a plant basically it's an outside plant so it's like for people who do blue collar work i don't know if y'all know what that is but you got some people in there who do scaffolding scalps i can't say it right but scaffolding some people in there who just they basically they build stuff in the plant and like keep the plant going work on stuff in the plant keep it going you got a lot of deliveries that come in and out da 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 da, da. so basically my job is to check everybody in who's coming in to work for day I got to make sure that they have um, their safety essentials, which is like the stuff that they need to be able to work inside, which is like an ISTC car. It got to have like basically all of the course they taken to get this job to be able to work here. So I got to make sure they have that card on them for the day. I got to make sure that they have their driver license if they're driving in. And I got to make sure they have on FRCs, which is like long sleeve pants, steel toe boots, hard hats basically everything that'll keep them safe inside because that plant is a live plant and it could blow up at any moment or like any not even just that anything can go wrong at any moment so they got to make sure they have on clothes that can cover their whole body as well as steel toe boots so uh my job is to make sure that they have all that and once they have all that i can check them in for the day so i'm gonna show y'all when i check in somebody it's not it's not really busy right now it don't get busy to probably like seven o'clock it's really like five right now so um although my gate isn't really busy i still can show y'all some stuff but that's not the only thing i do i check in people who going in to deliver stuff for companies inside the plant because it got several companies inside the plant so um i just do that basically i just check people in so when i check them in i check them in on this screen right here i'm not going to show y'all this screen because it's kind of like private information uh, i can show y'all like i'll show y'all when i'm checking in somebody but like i check them in on this screen right here in front of me and um when i check them in i'll hand them one of these badges right here and this badge right here gets them inside the gate so all they got to do is like scan it at the gate or whatever and they'll open up the gate for them so this hang tag basically like if they go on inside and they park it inside and say for example somebody call up here like who this car belonged to i can go look on the screen and see who i assigned this hang tag to and i can tell them who the car belongs to but literally that's all and they just this is like the information that they have to have like a badge right here to uh be able to get inside you got everything on here as far as like making sure that they completed the courses to be able to work or go inside the plant so literally that's that's literally it that's literally my job like i'll open up this little glass window right here when somebody come check them in open it up check them in right here on this screen behind me and then we go from there but i'm gonna show y'all this uh guard shack man so so this is the glass window. <clears throat> this is um, the computer. I'll be on YouTube, y'all. I'll be on YouTube every day. <laughs> be straight on YouTube on here. That's it. On here, watching First 48 all day, literally. So yeah, this the window. I checked them in that this is my desk. Um, got refrigerator right here. AC. Be boom in here. Whatever, whatever. Trash can, chairs. Microwave right here um cleaning supplies because we got got to keep the guard shack clean and bathroom bathroom nothing too crazy nothing too not too crazy it's basically got everything that i need you feel me you got everything that i need for the day as far as like being in here be able to be comfortable be able to you know use the restroom when needed because if anybody ever works security that's watching this video because allied is all over the world if anybody ever watched it work for this company you know most of the time some people don't even have these guard shacks like some people don't even have a bathroom some people have a porta potty outside of you feel me the little most people don't have a big guard shack like this this is my permanent guard shack i got a key to this guard shack you feel me so um yeah man that's literally all that it is bro all that it is like um 
I wanted to touch bases on what I was talking about in the car again. Because, like, man, it's so many people that's in this gaming community, that's, that's in the gaming community, who have fell low, but they are still pushing themselves to upload the game or upload something or do something that they no longer even love no more and making little money from it. I understand YouTube, so I know... I know, you feel me? So it's so many people that's trapped in that bubble who just feel like they are too good to go get a nine to five or who just who just scared to make that or take that risk. You feel me? Y'all get what I'm saying? But it's so many, bro. It's so many people who are trying to still hold on to something that's not working, that's no longer working or no longer showing any signs of progress i wasn't finna continue to do that man i got bills you feel me first of all i got bills i gotta take care of myself and y'all know that i moved far away from home 600 miles away from my hometown i wasn't finna come up here and still trying to keep doing something that wasn't working like this jump went downhill for me literally 24 24 it went downhill it ain't go downhill just for me it went downhill for a lot of people you feel me? 2K24 went, it was the downfall. The game was the downfall of a lot of people's content, a lot of people's hard-earned earnings. You feel me? So it's like I wasn't finna sit around and continue to keep playing the game or doing something that wasn't showing no progress. No, I said, okay, it's time to get a 9 to 5. I've been here for, what, a year? Yeah, I've been here for a year. So it's just like, bro, I'm not finna sit around, man. I'm not finna sit around and wait for something to kick up or something to blow up. And I'm also not going to sit around and keep doing something that I no longer have the passion to do no more or the love to do. I'm not going to sit around also and, and put in long hours just for a little money. No, I'm not fit to. And I don't, I, and, and, and to the people who still pursuing it, good luck to you. I don't blame you, but you got to sometimes come to reality and realize there's nothing wrong with getting a nine to five so that you can, t you can continue to, Provide for yourself financially. And 9 to 5 is more of a consistent income. It's like an income that you know is not going nowhere because you know you got a job. Now, with YouTube and you, you're doing something that no longer bringing you the, the, the big views or the, you know what I'm saying, the big revenue, it's up and down. It's shaky. You might have a month that goes good and you might have a month that performs terrible. You feel me? So I'm not going to sit around and just rely on an inconsistent income i'd rather go get a consistent income so um i used to be ashamed of this nine to five man because i feel like i don't know i wouldn't even say i felt too good but i just felt kind of um what's the word man i felt like uh i wouldn't even say a failure you feel me i wouldn't even say a failure because it's like man i'm not the only one i'm not the only one bro yeah, I have 200,000 subs, man, but I'm not the only one. It's some people with millions of subs who had to go and get a 9 to 5. The subs don't matter, bro. You, the subs do not matter. The subs just bringing you plaques and awards. The views, the likes, and comments, that's what matters. You feel me? You can see somebody with a million subs, and they pulling 1,000 views a video. I'm telling you, man, that them subs don't matter. You can't look at a person and, and, and you see they have a lot of subs and instantly think they get money. It don't matter. It don't work like that. That's The subs is not the money. The views, the likes, the comments is the money. You feel me? The watching the ads, that's the money. So, man, um, I'm not ashamed, bro. I'm not. I've been doing very fine. I've been doing well. Y'all can see. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing very well, you know. But um, I don't want this to be a long-term thing. You feel me? Um, my plans with this is just to save as much as i can invest it in some type of way so that i can triple it but this is not something that i'm trying to do forever you get what i'm saying um i do want to get back consistent with youtube yeah i know i post every other week or so <laughs> uh i want to change that but um as for right now man i'm still kind of finding what i want to do you know what i'm saying Need to need to get that little motivation back, you know, the motivation bone back in my body. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just don't understand. It is hard, but yeah, man, this is my nine to five. You know, it's, it's nothing, ain't nothing wrong with a nine to five. You making money as long as you're not broke. You know what I'm saying? Something wrong with being broke now. 
ain't, being broke ain't funny. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing fun about being broke at all. You feel me? So if you out here, a YouTuber who fell low and you feel like you too good to get a nine to five, man, that's your, that's where you mess up at. That's, that's your first mistake. Your mindset right there. You, you're never too good to get a nine to five. I only worked what probably three, four jobs out of my entire life. Probably less than that. What YouTube, not YouTube. Uh, I worked Walmart before. I've worked uh, UPS, this, and some little warehouse job. But all them jobs, the only job that I really did need was that warehouse one. The the UPS, not really. I just did that just because. And this one, the other ones, I didn't need that because at the moment I was making more money off YouTube than that job. You feel me? So. Yeah, man, this is my 9 to 5. Uh, never feel ashamed to work a 9 to 5, man. 9 to 5 is something you should use as a stepping stone to get to where you really want to go. So that's kind of what I'm doing. So um, I'll continue showing y'all throughout the day. I want to show y'all me checking in a person. And then uh, I guess I'll keep updating y'all throughout the day and when I leave for the day and what I do. And what I leave for the day is the same thing. So I guess, um, I don't know if I'll show y'all that. I probably will. That's all the way at 5 p.m. It's 5 a.m. The, the, it's the same process, so I probably won't show y'all. All I do is clock out uh, on the phone, on the computer, then lock the door and leave. So I probably won't show y'all that. I guess I'll just show y'all me checking in somebody and how that goes. And then um, I guess I'll end it off whenever I feel like it. Good morning. You parked over there? Put on your shoes for me? Yeah, I yeah, put them in. They're watching the camera. I can't give you a badge without it. You got you driving? No. No? Okay. Like, bro, this is stuff they already supposed to know. Already supposed to know now. See? That's the thing, too. Some of these people at their job would try you, man. He coming up here without no steel toes on with some Crocs, some Walmart Crocs at that. Knowing you're supposed to have your boots on. And I can't hand them nothing. People on the camera watching, I can't hand you no badge. 
until you have all of your FRCs on, which is your clothes, your your pants, your your long sleeve, your boots. I can't hand you no badge with no Crocs on. Nine nine five eight six. Four, four. All righty, y'all. But that's all it consists of, man. Grabbing people's stuff, verifying that they have everything they're supposed to have, which is FRCs stuff on the badge, and I just hand them. Hang tag in the badge to get in the gate, and that's literally all that it is. All right, y'all. So it's eight fifty four right now. Um, I ain't checked in that many people. Still a little slow. I just checked in probably like one or two people since the last little check in that y'all seen. But uh, so far it's just a smooth day, a regular day how it usually be. You know, nothing crazy. It's not a busy gate. Not a busy post, so yeah, I'm just chilling, watching YouTube videos and stuff like that. But uh, I ain't gonna lie, I think I'm gonna probably end the video off right here, man, because it's not much to show, honestly. Like, I've been watching videos <laughs> literally on YouTube, bro. Watching videos, I just got done watching one of J Cinco videos and stuff like that, so I just been watching videos, man. Nothing. None else, none crazy videos. But uh, if you watch this video all the way through, I appreciate you for watching. Appreciate you for tuning in. Um, if y'all want to see more videos like this, of like my everyday at a, at my job, but I'll honestly, I I won't even say that. If y'all like this type of video. Drop a like on the video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications. Make sure y'all go check out the last video I uploaded on my channel, my last vlog. And um, until then, man, I'll see you boys and girls in the next one, man. Um, yeah, I hope this video has touched somebody out there who's just continue to, who's continuously trying to make something work that's not working. Uh, bro, there's nothing wrong with getting a 9 to 5, point blank period. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, use a nine to five as a stepping stone. Use it as a you know, a hustle to get to where you wanna be. You feel me? Like I said, I'm using this as a stepping stone, man. I'm using this as to pay my bills for now and as a, a stepping stone to invest in something else that I wanna do and that I wanna start pursuing. But like I said, man, see you boys in the next video. Peace out.